I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today we're going to be doing another wax review. Now today's wax that we're going to be talking about is Joy Wax from Nature's Garden. Joy Wax is a proprietary blend from Nature's Garden, only available from Nature's Garden. And it's a blend of soy wax, vegetable waxes, and food grade paraffins. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into this. I'm going to show you what the wax looks like, uh, kind of what it feels like, and we're going to talk about everything and try to break down uh, this wax at every angle. We're going to go ahead and pour it into some candles. We're going to pour it into some clamshells, some melts. Uh, it's not a pillar wax, so we're not going to make any pillars with this. And then we're going to go ahead and see what the temperatures are. The manufacturer's suggested heating temps on this one is to heat it to 200, let it cool down to about 175 to 170, add one ounce to one pound of fragrance oil, and then go ahead and pour after that. So we're gonna go ahead and heat that up all the way to 200. We're gonna let it cool all the way down until it starts to get to like a gel phase just to see what the temperature range is. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour some wax with the suggested settings. All right, now I've already done a little bit with this wax just to test it out. I, so far, I'm liking it quite a bit. Now, when we're looking at this wax, it comes in slabs just like the 6006. Uh, it's separated by paper in between and it's a pretty nice looking wax. Let me get some here. Uh, it crumbles just a little bit more than 6006 does, which is not a bad thing. Now, it almost behaves a lot like 6006. It crumbles apart just a little bit more than 6006 does, but very nice to the touch. It's got a real nice creamy look to it. Uh, it's almost a pure white. This light definitely doesn't do it justice. Uh, it looks exactly like 6006. It's got just a touch of an off-white color into it. Now cutting this wax, you can see I've got my ice cream scoop and I'll have a link for this down in the video description down below. Uh, it's not a wax that you can pick up and snap like uh, 4625. Although if it is a little cold outside, you probably could snap that, but uh, it definitely gets a little bit messy if you're gonna pick it up. It's a little sticky, which is good. That means better glass adhesion. But if you've got an ice cream scoop, it just comes right off. So it's very easy to deal with. It's nice and tough. It doesn't really cut through like butter or anything like that. So it's not incredibly soft like 4627 is. And then of course, if you've got a knife, I'll show you what it looks like when you cut it with different things. So very easy to cut. And even if you had a butter knife, you can cut right through that stuff. So very easy to work with when you're trying to get it out of the slab form. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and weigh out two pounds and get this stuff melting on the stove. Now I'm doing two pounds just so I can get a good reading on the thermometer so that we can heat this all the way up to 200 degrees and then we're gonna let it melt all the way back down to a solid form or at least until the wax gets a little bit cloudy, which is right about the point that you don't want to pour it past that. So we wanna get a full temperature reading on this, all the way from melted back down to solidified. All right, so that's just a little over two pounds. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw that on the double boiler. All right, so the wax is fully melted and that temperature, I just checked it a second ago, is right at 180 degrees. So it's fully melted right at 180, but we're gonna let that go up to the suggested temp of 200 for melting, and then we'll go ahead and pull it off. All right, so I've got that wax pulled off. It's right at 200 degrees, and we're gonna go ahead and let that cool down all the way until the wax itself starts to get a little bit of a haze to it. Uh, right when it gets to the haze, 
that's usually the point where you want to pour to get the best glass adhesion. So we're going to see how long that takes or what it gets down to. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but right at probably 145 degrees, it's starting to get a haze. So you could probably pour a little bit lower than that. I'm going to say 140 to 130 even. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this back up and then we're gonna add some fragrance oil. All right, so we've got the wax back out. It's right at 170 degrees and we're gonna go ahead and add two ounces to two pounds of Joy Wax and we're using Nature's Garden Apple Cinnamon. Go ahead and stir that for a minute. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour this into a couple different containers. I'm gonna pour it into a Lavana from Dream Vessels. And then I'm gonna pour just a blank one that we can test a couple different wicks with. And then I'm also gonna do one right here with an HTP wick, which I know fits this jar. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pour this Lavana first. And I'm not putting a wick in this one just because I wanna test the different wicks in this one also. We're only gonna pour that to maybe just a little under three quarters. Pour that one just down a little bit. And then for this last one, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of color. And we're using red, just basically red candle dye from Nature's Garden. And I'm gonna put probably eight to 10 drops in there just to see what kind of coloring this wax holds as well. And that red looks incredible. So I'm gonna pour those, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into an eight ounce jelly jar with an HTP 104, or actually this is a 93, excuse me. For that one and then I'm also going to do a wood wick in the nine ounce straight jar just to see how the wood does in the joy wax as well. That red looks so nice and then I've also got a couple shot cups and a clamshell and we're going to go ahead and pour a clamshell and a shot cup just to see how well they do. This made a lot more than I thought it was going to. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna go ahead and let these cool down and then we'll go ahead and start to look at them and do some testing.
right, so that pretty much wraps up this round of testing, and I've got a lot more testing to do on the Joy Wax, but overall, I actually really like this wax. I've still got a lot to test on it. Uh, I'm still gonna be doing a couple more candles, and I'm gonna jump to some three-wicked candles just so I can get uh, like a real good idea of a huge scent throw from this wax. But all in all, I actually do like this a lot. It looks really nice. Uh, coming out in the candles, this, I mean, the tops on these come out really smooth, depending on how big of a candle you do and how hot you pour it. Uh, I had a couple that I got a little bit of a dip in the middle, but again, uh, this one I poured a couple days ago and I haven't touched the top of it. it. You can see that it's got a little bit of a concave, but it's not enough. I would probably leave that and not even touch it with a heat gun. Uh, the only thing I would do is because of the wood wick, it uh, separated a little bit around the wood wick, but again, most people probably wouldn't even care about something like that. It still looks incredibly nice across the top. I probably would hit it with a heat gun just to really smooth it out, but this stuff cools and, uh, and hardens really nice. Uh, it also does extremely well in the melts. Uh, not so much in the clamshells. I don't know that this wax is really made for clamshells, but I wanted to test it anyways. It actually does a pretty good job. You can definitely make the clamshells work. As you can see in the video, I popped one out it, it gets, it's a real soft wax, so once you start touching it, it starts to melt in your hands a little bit. But if you were to break these up in the container and just pop them right out, this stuff would work perfect. Uh, they work extremely well in the clamshells and they smell nice and strong. I had one of these going in the, uh, the melter inside of our living room, which is a really big area. And uh, I'll have to see if I can get a shot of that, but it filled the entire area. As soon as I came into the front door, I could smell, I was using the, uh, the Fruit Loops uh, scent that I got from Nature's Garden, and it was actually nice and strong. I could smell it from, uh, not crazy strong, but I could definitely pick up the scent, and it was only this size of a melt, which definitely isn't meant for an area that, of the size that it was in, and it still filled that size. Uh, as soon as I came through the front door, I could smell it, and walking past it and then through the kitchen, I would get hints of it, which was really nice, and it lasted all day long. So I'm actually really impressed with this stuff in the clamshells. Uh, I actually like these a lot. But again, getting back to the candles, and I don't have one here with me, but I, you can see that I made one in the red color, and I don't normally color my candles, but I have a bunch of color dyes from Nature's Garden, and uh, I wanted to test those out. And I will say the colors on those from Nature's Garden is incredibly strong, very vibrant. I've got a few other colors. I'm gonna to try to do a black candle, an all black candle. We'll see how strong we can get that one. But the, the color dyes in this wax comes out extremely nice. As far as wet spots are concerned, this candle right here, I poured this one somewhat hot. You can see, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but uh, it separated from the glass all the way around. So th it's really one giant wet spot, but it still looks so nice that uh, it, it's not even a big deal. And I never pay attention to wet spots anyways. That's just one of those things that uh, uh, a lot of perfectionists will go after, but <laughs> you waste so much time trying to get perfect adhesion or 100% adhesion that you can drive yourself crazy with it. Uh, this one, like I said, it's popped all the way from around the glass. It doesn't rattle around in there, which is normal. It's, uh, it, it, and this came out really nice. Now I will say I'm still testing some of the wicks in this wax, but so far uh, the wooden wick actually worked extremely well. I used the medium wood wick from Lone Star in uh, the nine ounce straight jar. Again, this one that I've got right here. Uh, the melt pool is a little bit big. It's definitely a softer wax. So I think if I was to take that down or to go just a little bit smaller on a different wood wick, it would actually work perfect. But the scent throw from the wood wick was actually really nice. Uh, the other wick that worked extremely well for me was the hemp wicks. And I got the hemp wicks again from Nature's Garden. The hemp wicks work extremely light, extremely nice. That was my first time using the hemp wicks and I'm gonna try a few of those out again in some other waxes. I tried the HTP in this wax. Uh, as, as you know, I love the HTP wicks. They work extremely well and they do work with this one. I still wanna play with it a little bit because I wasn't as impressed with the hot throw from those that I was with the hemp wicks and the wooden wicks. And then again, Nature's Garden recommends the CD wicks, which I haven't tried in this yet, but I'm gonna try those again. So I've got another video coming with this wax in a bunch of different applications as far as bigger containers, three wicks, and also different wicks. Now, again, like I said in the beginning of this video, this is a proprietary blend. It's only available from Nature's Garden. So if you wanna try Joy Wax, and there are a ton of people out there that do, I've, this is probably the most requested wax for review that I've gotten from the audience that's out there. So I'm glad I finally got this stuff in. It's definitely a wax that I'll be picking up again. 
I uh, actually really like this stuff and I'd, uh, it, the only thing I want to do now is really nail exactly when to put the fragrance oils in, uh, exactly when to pour it. I'm still doing a lot of testing with it and uh, I want to really maximize the hot throw that I get from this stuff. But overall, I would say it's, it's a huge, I don't have the review uh, kind of table up. I got to go through that again and kind of formulate this stuff. But this wax is definitely at the top of my list up there with, uh, you know, I love the 6006. Uh, this is a very nice wax and one that I'll definitely be testing and trying for quite some time now. And again, I know I'm glossing over something, so if I miss something with this wax or you'd like to see something something for the upcoming videos, please let me know in the comments down below or reach out to me through the email, the website, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and the DIY group and let me know what you'd like to see on the coming videos and I'll go ahead and try to add that in. And again, you can always reach out to me through, like I said, any of the social media platforms down below, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, the website, of course, and the DIY Facebook group, which I'm in every single day. And if you do use this wax, please let me know in the comments down below. There's gonna be a lot of people commenting. So if you see something that I missed, uh, go ahead and comment down below. Let everybody know what you think of the wax. And uh, thank you for watching.